Now we are going round and round the bases in Boston as our first stop. Red Sox completing a three-game sweep of the A's, and they have your attention, Jake Peavy. You and I were talking about it this morning because in your words you said they're moving the ball. I'm always hearing velocity is king. Is that always the case? Because they've had a nice start. No, it hasn't always been the case. Velocity is nice to have, but but you've got to have some pitchability, and this is what I'll tell you. Craig Breslow, couple-time teammate, Andrew Bailey, teammate as well. Andrew Bailey has went, been in San Francisco. Those guys were using the least amount of four-seamers. They understand that movement plays, a, a sinker plays, and uh, they're playing to their personnel. The, the Boston Red Sox pitching staff, way underrated and better. And look, Nikki P, who went last night, is their silent leader. Yeah, he's had moments. They, they certainly have a rotation. I think that's the thing that we were so upset about because you felt like they were one or two pitchers away okay. yeah, from a chance from competing for a wild card in this division, certainly. I think for me, their offense, I'm in on. I think Story's going to have a big year. Devers is one of the best hitters in the game. And Jared Duran went off in Oakland, 9 for 12. You imagine getting on the bird 9 for 12? What, what I found very interesting, during the offseason, there was talk of Jared Duran being in trade discussions. And I was like, why would you trade this dude? You're 100% right. I, I don't think anyone really knew the plan coming out of the winter right. meetings with the Red Sox, except that they were going to potentially not be these huge buyers that we yeah. assumed, like Montgomery made a ton of sense, Yamamoto made a ton of sense. Yeah. Like, they were kind of kind of in on everything. I wonder if they're at a really bit of a not. crossroads right now. Alex Cora is a free agent at the end of this season. So well, you're not going to do any better than Alex Cora. I'll tell no. you that. I agree. I, I think the reason we saw him stand pat, they did get Giolito, and they were hoping that they would get yeah. the innings there. But the reason they stood pat is because they have seen over the past couple years, every one of those guys who's in the rotation now, they've seen bits of greatness that they thought. With locks. Of they've the world. seen how They've all showed up. And, and Craig Breslow knew Andrew Bailey could get the best out in those guys. Take us uh, The Cleveland Guardians are off to a nice start as well after their win over the Seattle Mariners. They are 5-2. and two. And they did this against George Kirby. Uh, George Kirby, they, they got to him for 10 hits and eight earned runs. Here's Guardian skipper Steven Vogt on his team's offensive approach in early 2024. No, um, again, credit to Val and the hitting group for coming up with a great plan and the credit the players even more for following that and sticking to it and, and executing. And it's, it's just really fun. I mean, anytime you're facing pitchers of that caliber, but to do that to those two guys two days in a row feels really good for the offense. I mean, it's great. You know, anytime you, your best hitter doesn't feel like he has to carry the load every single day, he's going to relax and be himself. And Jose, Jose was phenomenal again today. And, you know, just can't say enough about what this offense is doing top to bottom. Dero, he was, uh, Stephen Vogt was yeah. a little humble there, uh, sharing the, the credit. But I'm sure he had a big input on the offensive approach against the Mariners because he was a part of that staff in Seattle. Yeah, I agree with Last you, year. Robert. But super fired up for Voter right there. He talked about being aggressive on the base pass, which I absolutely love. But the bottom line is the top of their order is playing really well. Stephen Kwan's got four multi-hit games to start. Andres Jimenez has gotten off to a good start. That top of the order has got to carry him because it's it's – it's not a lineup that yeah. is going to get you through 162, and they're going to have to pitch the baseball. Well, where where are you on the Guardians in the AL Central, Jake? Well, I, I, to piggyback, I, I like what Dero's talking about. I love the, the, their approach top to bottom, putting the ball in play. Good things happen. I, I, they are going to have to hit. I'll tell you this, Shane Bieber looks really good. Really? Yeah. Kenzie comes back, and those three guys, Logan Allen and, and Webb and, and Bybee behind them, are big arms. I think they're going to pitch their way right into the Central. Mm -hmm. Logan Allen pitched yesterday. And Bybee pitches tonight. You and make a big case boy. For four teams in that division. That Gavin Williams stud. Guy is Ooh. stud. So event, hopefully they get him, you know, he'll be back throwing. Yeah. Perfect. Mm, congratulations to Kyle Higashioka. Made history on Wednesday, becoming the this first Padres cool. catcher. Yeah, to throw out two runners, hit a home run in the same inning. And I love what he said after the game. He said, throwing out guys is my job. The homer's a bonus. He's got pop. I mean, listen, when you don't get consistent ABs, it, it, it's tough to put everything together. But watching him with Team USA, he's got pop. He's a great teammate, so I'm, huge moment for him. But I think the story for me with the Padres was Musgrove, Musgrove got on yeah. track mm -hmm. yesterday. He's had two clunkers and then he came out yesterday and was wiping people out. Well, let you, let you know what Joe's made of. Those guys were in danger of being swept at home in the second season. Yeah. Musgrove and, and those guys, they've been through a lot of travel and, and just haven't really found their routine and stride. But you, Darvish, looks as good as anybody. Joe Musgrove bowing his back, showing you what he's made of. Cease is going Friday. 
Michael King, you guys saw what he's made You're of. bullish on the pod. But I'm, I think the pitching is too good. They're going to find their stride, and they're going to be around. I'm bullish on the, the, the whole NL West. And Robert Suarez, his first season as the full-time closer, uh, league-leading third save yesterday uh, for the Padres. The Cardinals, however, they take two of three, and they'll take that as they head home for their home opener. Uh, meantime, former Padre Blake Snell throwing a simulated game yesterday at Dodger Stadium for his new club, the San Francisco Giants. Uh, Snell set to make his San Francisco Giant debut Monday against the Washington Nationals. What, what are some things about sim games, Jake, that maybe the, the, that. the like, casual fan that? the casual fan doesn't understand the hitter, or doesn't know? The hitter doesn't want to be there. <laughs> okay. I'll tell you that much. Why? Look, I thought it was That's interesting. That's a lose-lose for the hitter. Yeah, it's, it's not anything fun. I can tell you this. The Giants really needed Blake Snell to be out there in the series uh, against the Dodgers mm -hmm. to have any chance. But I, what I thought was interesting is he had his full costume on, D-Row. Yeah. You know? Maybe put it on, get the feels out there. I can I tell you this. With some of the, the reinforcements they have coming, Robbie Ray and, and Cobb coming, Harrison Hicks, adding him with Logan Webb, they're a force to be reckoned yeah, with. I'm, with you. I'm bullish on the Giants. Mm -hmm. I know it's a tough division. I like their lineup. Conforto's gotten off to a hot start. We didn't know much about Jung Ho Lee. He seems to look the part. They were a Matt big Chapman, hitter, too. Solaire's going to hit Solaire, uh, two Patrick extra base Haley hits went yesterday. Deep last night. Yeah. They're all right. Giants they're all right. Pods uh, is the a, Giants. Is the right. NL West the toughest division in baseball? I think it's the deepest and best. Yeah. Over AL, the AL East. East. I mean, the AL East is pretty stout. Yeah. But this year, with the way the Rays and the Blue Jays are playing, maybe not. The Blue Jays should be. Listen, that's a whole nother show. Yeah. Yeah, that's a whole nother Can't topic. Going. They have that's four an legit starters and a lineup and a bullpen. With a but they've had that. They had that last oh. year. I think the second half of their lineup is in the last year and a half, but they haven't got the production. The top four, I'll take. Yeah. But after that, you start getting in, into some some you it's know, like I don't Seattle want to say like you got to at some but. point and I was blessed to come up with the Braves and learn at some point it's you can't you got to stop talking about it and you got to win a playoff series there's a window yeah. in Toronto they're free agent aren't there's blowing. a window in Seattle Seattle's got dominant rotation so Seattle has that's why we're bullish on San Francisco been. they've won before not saying there's necessarily guys on that rock. That organization knows how to how to finish the drill. I think yeah. both of those lineups need to lengthen out. I think that you have to find a way from five through nine to get some production. I, I, we love the top of both of them, and, and they should produce. But the bottom half, 